Hi guys, how's it going? So uh, we've got a bit of a different video today, similar to the usual ride that we do. Uh, apart from this time, we're doing it um, alongside the bike garage. So the bike garage in Bamford, uh, James in there, he offers brilliant service and he also does hire bikes. Uh, so he's asked me if I'll be able to document some of the, um, the routes that he does. So today we're going to do the uh, Beast of Hope Cross. So it's about a ten and a half mile loop. Um, it's essentially just a big climb up before a big descent down the Beast and then along the reservoir and then all the way back to the shop. Uh, unfortunately James isn't here at the minute. Uh, this ride will provide a load of pictures. Um, I'll do a little bit of a write up that will go on the website. So check that out once it's up. I'll have a link to that in the description below. Uh, I think it'll take about an hour and a half today um, of actual riding time. Might take a little bit longer, um, but conditions are really good at the minute. We're going to head out just on the road for a second um, before making our way up to Aston, along the Aston Bridleway, uh, off towards Hope Cross. And then once we're at Hope Cross, we're going to head over down the beast and then along the reservoir. So it should be a good one. As I say, a bit of a road section now. Um, I've got my tripod with me, so I'll be able to do a couple of uh, third person shots, which will look quite smart. And yeah, hopefully it's a good one. Weather's perfect. Trails are running well at the minute, so let's get on with it. All right, so uh, you've just missed a bit of a road section, nothing too major, but you do quite a sharp right turn up here. The road slash driveway, it takes you up to the Aston Bridleway. 14 minutes in, about two and a half miles. Um, it's quite a little steep climb this. It's not impossible, it's fairly grippy with being tarmac. And then, as I say, it turns into a bit of a bridleway at the top. So we'll work our way up. Saddle is uh, still squeaking away. I have got a new one ready to put on. <sighs> so hopefully the next video we won't be uh, suffering from the squeaky saddle. So as I say, work our way up here and then we're off the road for a significant portion of the ride then. So this section of bridleway recently had a bit of work done by Peak District Mountain Biking. It was previously just unrideable. It was covered in snow at the time, but the work they did, they put a couple of drains in, uh, cleared out a few of the old drains and essentially stopped all of this runoff that comes from the top of Wind Hill from uh, ploughing all the way down the bridleway and essentially it stops it from turning into a big river. That was only a couple of months ago and obviously with the sun we've had the last couple of weeks it's made a massive improvement so it's now completely rideable, nice and dry and uh, running really well actually. So I'd say this is the last, uh, the last sort of major climb, if not one of the most significant of this ride. Uh, the next one we do is a uh, a tiny little one that goes up to Hope Cross before coming down the beast. So I'll not bore you with the uh, footage of me gasping away riding up here. I'll uh, probably cut up to the next one, a little bit of a downhill. And then the descent down from the beast. All right, so here we are at the top of the bridleway from Aston. Uh, off up that way is the footpath to Wynn Hill. Uh, we've just come from down here. Mamtor Ridgeline over there, and then Kinder Scout a bit further over, some incredible views. Um, and you've got all the Durant Reservoirs and uh, Lady Bower just a bit further down. We're gonna be dropping down there quite soon. We're gonna follow the bridleway uh, near enough straight along the tree line before dropping off to the left a bit and then you can see the uh, sort of sand, oh, sandy sandstone path bridleway um, heading off over in the distance there. We're not going to go that far over, we're going to turn right just towards the end of the trees uh, before going down the beast which is 
it's a it's a rocky descent you know large boulders it's uh it's quite challenging uh you could do it on a hard tail definitely but i mean it's not going to be the easiest or smoothest of rides recommend a full suspension uh i'm only i'm only on 120 and then 100 i think on the back um so not mega amounts of suspension but it's more than enough So uh, it's the last little climb up to sort of the top of Hope Cross. We've got the farmer driving up actually, which is uh, it's pretty impressive. I've never actually seen a farmer drive up here before. He's uh, he's going well. He's probably not going much faster than I'd be going really. So uh, yeah, we'll get to the top, come down the beast. Hopefully it's running quite well. As I say, there's a bit of headwind all the way up here, but uh, it's not been too bad. So I'll give the farmer a minute and then I'll get off behind him. Here's the top of the beast. So, as you can see, really rocky, quite a gnarly descent. It's a good one. Um, honestly, the faster you are, the more stable you'll be. Um, get that seat down, sort of just lean back and, and send it, I guess. Just be cautious of people coming up the other way. Uh, primarily sort of walkers, you don't really get people cycling up here. It's a good one. Um, hopefully we'll get some good footage. Oh my days. Right, I'm gonna drag this out of the way. So, just down here, we're not gonna go all the way down to the bottom of the beast. Uh, we're gonna go through this gate here to the bottom of the reservoir. Just goes to show that conditions on trails do change. So, we always anticipate a log to be in the way a wall to be in the way, walkers, just anticipate these things, uh, otherwise it could end quite nastily for you. So we're going to drop down to the reservoir now, um, and then we sort of just follow along the bottom of the reservoir, uh, it's like a big fire track road. So there's a bit of a downhill now, it's not, um, just got to watch out for walkers again. But uh, yeah, we'll get down there before I get eaten by all these horse flies. All right, so um, we're just at the uh, Lady Bower Dam, I think it is now. Uh, we're gonna go on to the Thornhill Trail. You can see a sign for it just here. It's an old railway line. It's not up there, but it is easy to miss. Just down here on the right. Uh, 
Uh, so this is the Thornhill Trail, the uh, the last bit of this ride. Hopefully uh, you can hear me all right. The wind noise will be a bit worse because I have lost my uh, my wind muffler. Lost it towards the bottom of the beast. Uh, we follow this one all the way down until we hit, uh, I forgot the name of the road. I'll put it on the screen here. Once we've got to there, we take a left before taking a right and coming back through the sort of river park field open area um, and then loop back around to the bike garage. Riding time, we've just hit one hour. Uh, we're 9.4 miles in and a thousand feet. So it's a good bit of climbing over the distance. Uh, the beast obviously has a brilliant descent. You do just have to keep an eye on the uh, trail coming up in front of you because obstacles will work their way onto the trail every now and then. So yeah, we'll follow this down to the next road. It's a nice way to finish a ride. Uh, so we've just got to the bottom of the Thornhill Trail. You do take a left when you hit the road. Then we just come a bit further down here. We'll turn right, go through the field, and then we're back to the bike garage. Always good to close gates. Yep. So we'll just hit the road at the bottom of here, take a left, then we're back at the garage. There you go, that's it. So that was the uh, the Beast of Hope Cross. So as I say, it's uh, the second ride that James does for the bike garage. Uh, he'll give you maps and that, uh, and he'll show you all the guidance as to where to go. Uh, as I say, you can hire bikes from him, uh, check the website for prices. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. We'll do a different loop. Uh, that one today came in at 11.3 miles, took an hour and 10 minutes and a thousand feet of climbing. It's a good one, uh, there's a couple of good climbs, a good descent down through the beast. Once again, uh, just keep an eye on the trail up ahead because you never know what you're gonna come across. Um, keep an eye out for other people, be nice, say hi, and I hope you enjoyed, I'll see you in